Hello, welcome back to Banner Saga 3. Let's go straight into it. <laughs> Luden, there you are. I wasn't sure where you went after the bells. I was with him when he died. He did not go easily. Yet the distant, distinct feeling their time together was strained. I thought we should clear the air out. Luden being the king? Now? Believe me, I've been thinking of little else since we arrived. But if you're worried about me seizing control, don't be. As far as I'm concerned, nothing changes. Your banner is yours. The Varl and Horseborn make their own decisions. If you'd like, we can discuss it further. Willing waits quietly for a response. <laughs> I'm sorry your father has passed. I suppose I am as well. I know that sounds strange. There was always a sharp edge on him. He wanted to be a ruler, not a leader. He catch the defense. I always remember he, this feeling he would give me that he truly believed he deserved to rule men. I think passing it down to me was just a way to continue glorifying himself. Was his change of heart with the refugees a surprise to you? Was it a real change of heart or did he hope it would encourage me to take the crown? I don't know. Doesn't matter, I've chosen my own path. Wouldn't wait quietly. So you're just giving up your birthright? Not long ago there was no such thing. We still cling to these banners because men follow deeds, not blood. My father wanted to change that. I've come to disagree. Don't look so surprised. It's just that you had a certain reputation, Prince Luden. What changed? Traveling with you. Seeing how people live, I know it sounds cliche. For a long time I was jealous of, jealous of how others looked to you instead of me. But over time, what kind of sane person wants to appoint themselves as the one to tell others how they should live? You did it out of necessity, not privilege. It's a burden I don't envy anymore. It never feels like I've changed until we looked back at what idiots we used to be. Some of us, anyway. But we've all been through some changes, haven't we? What do you intend to do now? I still have some privileges at Maynolf's, as Maynolf's son. I intend to use them. When they learned of the darkness, my father ordered every mentor in my heart to Arborang. They still answer to me. I intend to find a solution that will protect us from darkness. How's that going? Like a fat man coming home from the meat hall. Slow and stumbling. The Menders are a little more than bricklayers and nurses, to be honest. The Valka are another story, but they all stayed in Manahar against my father's wishes. Nobody knows what they've been up to, but I hope our goals are the same. We can't exactly go and check. Still, at least someone is working on it. I won't take any more of your time. I'm glad you found me, though. It was a good to talk. Listen, even if I wanted to rule now, it would be a struggle. Abraham needs fewer struggles, not more. And fewer people trying to rule. What about when this is all over? Abraham still needs a leader. I'll consider leadership another time, maybe. It will be the decision of the people, and right now they look to you. Smart ones, anyway. Let me worry about the Menders for now. It sounded like they're ready to go against Ruin. I'll gladly stand with you in the fight if you need me. We, oui, both. You imagine a resemblance between the two you hadn't seen before, but you leave it unsaid and turn your thoughts to the battle to come. Yeah, I think they both use... use... Um, spear. That's... <laughs> uh, maybe you should use you loot in this. Oh, it's only money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
they are still kind of better. Oh, he has 10 points. That. And. Mm -hmm. Uh, something do this hmm. okay now you might be better kind of Nets have been wrapped around the barrels of oil, and horsebone rain at the ready. A bird delivered them at moment's notice. Scott touched for snarfle nervously at the doors. Is that really all we could gather? Adlif says, looking at the small offering wrapped in nets. Here's says bring her archers to fire. Without the varl, I'm afraid so. Oh, without the varl, I'm afraid so, reply. Anchor comes again, a dark streak. The horsebone are already gone, pulling along the netting. But the obsidian hook punches through the wall. They heave the barrels over top. The net catches and is pulled back towards Ruin. Now, it shouts Irsa. Flicks of fire flit through the air like fireflies buzzing into the night, gently floating. Down, down. An explosion rips into the battlefield, rattling the earth and engulfing the cinder blowing dirt and dust into the sky. Cheers erupt spontaneously all the way down the walls, even the dredge have stopped their assault to watch. Is it done? Is it done? You wonder, as the dust finally faints his ruin rising, staggering, cheering dice in throats. She's wounded, Cliff cries, we have to finish it now. Come, you hear sh uh, shouted from the ground below. Canary flings her head back and smiles, her husband looks ready to run. We go quickly! Olive stifles an ecstatic gasp when she realizes what Canary intends. You scramble all the horsebone bags, soon finding yourself facing hordes of dredge you have crushed against and pulled. The dredge come in endless waves. Far right behind you can hear the varl hugging them apart to reach the center, but without coordination they've been cut off from the front lines. You curse their stubbornness as you claw and scrape your way toward ruin without them. Then, over the lane of battle, a drumming rhythm draws your attention. To your right, a cloud of dust is rising, approaching swiftly, until it collides with the army of dredge, tossing bodies into the air. I think we are fine like this. We have a title. Oh, we have a you safe. Those who have to move, you save them. Actually, you can really get them. Yes. I think she can go here. I think. Ruin looks more pissed off than her. Get ready for a fight. Swung a hammer in a century, but that doesn't mean I have forgotten how. It's Ubin. It's Ubin. No idea how she fucked with minus eleven. 
there, that was a minus one. Right? With that. Yeah. 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 That guy's next, so. And stay here! We block this way. No one will lose you. <laughs> I think I want you to. Is this guy? Yep. So I want you over here. Eighteen. Okay, you are kind of slow. Oh. Okay. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. You have body flail. How did you get hurt? Oh, it pulls units to... Ooh. Which is amazing. <laughs> this crap. I know I said it, but I. They didn't expect it to work. Oh, he got there. No, 
one of these. It... You are poisoned, so it doesn't matter. Do. Well, you are fine. <laughs> yes, heard injury. But the tales tell that you, a humble hunter from small forest towns, stood against not one but two cinder. The ruin lies dead at your feet. Red keep their distance as you limp back to the city. The people of Arborank watch silently from behind the walls, afraid to believe what they see. Suddenly cheers ring out around you, rising in the chorus of adultation. Adulation, even in, if a few dour clansmen stare with hard eyes, most likely Ruka's loyalists. They're chanting your name, Olive Grants. You reply only because they don't know yours yet. Hours pass since the siege. You find Olive on the ramparts, looking out into the distance. Darkness sure seems a lot closer than before up here. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you, looking back on the last few days, have I been acting too recklessly? You do seem to be taking charge lately. What's changed? I was hoping you wouldn't notice. I don't. I guess it's about you. I try to keep everyone. It's hard to put cars in my heart. The thought of, los of losing you now. I've never regretted giving you the banner. Struggle to stay silent. Feel like I'm the only one arguing with stubborn men for greater good. If I dare show the same sort of confidence, well, they have words for women like that. It wears you down. And we all fighting for the same thing. If Juno doesn't make it, but everything we've been through. You hear the shuffle of large footsteps joining you. It's still everyone for themselves, no different than that. Keep hope! Look at how many survive Ascender today. Thanks to our efforts, be glad for that. Oh, well, when you learn someone's language, you can speak to them, you see. Oh. I wish they were more like you, Ubin. It's a long story, friends. A long story. But the short of it is that the dredge are also in the south, as many as here. You look over the wall's edge where the dredge have withdrawn in the absence of ruin. They meal aimlessly. Why just give up? They still got the numbers to overwhelm us. I'm not sure they were ever into the fight to begin with. I think we're all looking for some peace right now, even the dredge. Damn them! The silence is almost worse than the fighting. A new sound slowly begins to take its place. A warbling moan that fills you with unease and makes, you he makes your hair stand on the end. Should we be worried about this? I don't know. They're just standing there. It sounds as if they're crying. This is worse. This is worse than the silence. Maybe they're just feeling the pressure a little sooner than us. Darkness doesn't care whose side you're on. The hounds are a hunger.
Look out, he barked. Bolver has been gaining ground on his caravan since fleeing Strand. But now he is in a full hand on he is in a full on spread. An axe flies toward Eowyn's head, clanging of Falka's shield at the last moment. Static crackles, bolts of lightning leap to the ground, tossing clouds of soot high into the air, but it clears to reveal no body. You can feel Bolver crouching malevolently from afar. Then his warped arm turn, warped army turns the spring behind the hill. At least he seems to remember the sting, Eowyn puffs. Volka shakes her head, picking up the engraved axe Bolver threw. This is a prized possession made from his own heart. The only reason he'd throw it now is because he thought he would end this here and now. She hangs the axe on her belt and stares out into the darkness. I'm more worried about the work I can see it than one I can. Some of us still need to sleep, Fuka blurred, eyeing Juno. You haven't rested since leaving Strand. If I know Bolvek, that's what he's waiting for. He's going to tire us out before bringing down the other axe. Juno replies, I cannot sense the warmth approaching, we'll rest a little and lightly. The raven is chuffed at being told what to do. Volker clearly preparing to say something. Encourage of livers, only a few sleeping at a time. Well, no, support Juno and keep rest to a minimum. A guard dog's no good if you have to drain him around, drag him around by the neck, Volker spits. We stop briefly and force ravens back on their feet a couple hours later. As Volker expected, the warped comb. Bulwark is nowhere in sight, but you can shake the feeling he's watching. I'll definitely take Krumbr. Ah, I'll give you a bust. Actually, I can promote you. Nope, nope, nope. Wait. I was sure I've given him one point earlier into that. Oh. It was Ivor. <laughs> Never mind. Instead. No, oh, I like his. God damn it. My mouse is breaking and it's I, I appreciate if it worked instead. Let's see. He has lots of points. Okay. You have lots of points. You Wow, that seems nice. Oh, look at stubborn. Whoa. That's nice. Yep. Hi. <laughs> we have you know. Who instead of Oli? Um. Me. Ah. Use it. If it wasn't dragging, thank you. I really have to promote you. We have something equipped. Oh, never mind. This to you. Ambush. 
couldn't say. Everyone knew there will be an ambush. Yeah, okay, I want you over here. Uh, yeah. Over here. Oh, right here should be safe. That's two slingers, and that's about it. It blocks him. Nice. to be safe. Okay, they can use... I forgot that they can use uh, the willpower as well. Nice. How far not... As far as I would like to. Yeah. Keep forgetting the letter. Long was no but all adjacent units and I'm a breakdown. Hmm, that's nice. Actually, I think drunk fire would be better. Or not. Please kill him. Okay, they didn't do anything. Uh, oh, 
over here with you. Oh. Going over that. Nope, nope. Wait. Uh, nope. Actually, yes. Yeah. Rest. Hmm. Oh, those don't stay. Huh. The warp ashes don't stay forever. We lost, any we lost if anyone? No, not really. But we should start mending. And we can move. Okay, we can move. That's good. We should stand like this. So we can heal them. I think we are fine. We only really need to heal their armor. One, two, three slingers and a bear. Three slingers and a bear. If he's able to do this, he will heal. Yes, okay. Mend. Up to half of the man, blah blah blah, half of current seven. Okay, no. Do it for the max. Doesn't really matter. It's so bad. You. If you get over here, I think that should happen. You should mend this guy as well. With Tempest, so if you get over here, we can use it. Yeah, it works the same. Damn it. Oh, what a shame. And work. Really, it won't hit anyone else? Or it won't hit because it's out of range? It really won't hit any- What if I do this? No, it doesn't matter. No, he 
is mended enough thing. Okay, you mend yourself. This is why I asked. <laughs> That's precisely why I asked. That's a perfect place to do and just despite your low health. I forgot about the bear. As little of a threat as it is possible. Oh no, no, it gives strength, we don't need strength. Actually, I want you to stand here. You're dead. Ring? Yep, it did. It is a ring. Perfect three for memory presence itself. Okay. And that's perfect place to end this part so for now thank you very much stay alive and see you soon bye